All right, guys, so here's my issue for the day. I have this 8VS wire feeder right here that has a Tweco connector, a male Tweco connector at the, the back end that connects it to the machine. It's not long enough, number one. Number two, I've got my whip here to make it long enough, and I've got my, uh, I've got my Tweco connector on the female side, and that's okay, that one fits up well. But going into the machine that I have, it has a dense connection instead of a Tweco connection. So the difference between the dense connections and the Tweco connections, a Tweco connector is like a cam lock. So it gets inserted into the hole and twisted and it locks in. Dense connectors are very similar, but they've got this key here. This key, there's a key way on the, on the orifice and you are able to insert this and twist it and it locks in similar to the cam but it's locking in by grabbing the back edge there. So we're gonna change these two out and I'm gonna show you how that's done. All right, so in changing this out, the very first thing I've gotta do is I've got a flathead screw right here. I've gotta remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one all the way out. Okay, now I can push the insulator. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take this, what do you got, got a 730 seconds? Got a 730 seconds Allen right there. I'm gonna go ahead and bust that loose. That's just a set screw. All right, back to bare wire. Now, normally I would take this and I would cut this back uh, but this is all I've got and I've got to use what I have so I'm just gonna leave this here This is pretty new. It's a pretty new connection. So nothing's corroded or anything like that So here's our new dens connector and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I'm gonna go ahead and remove this flathead screw right here Now our block comes out. Now I want to make sure I go ahead and rem remove my old insulator. Very first thing I'm going to put on is my old, or my, excuse me, put on my new insulator. Okay, if I don't do that and I put my connector on, my insulator won't fit. So it's always key. Make sure you put your insulator on first. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these wires. I'll straighten up all these strands. Sorry, you can hear that squeaking. That's my neighbor pulling out of their, their garage there. So I just go up, went ahead, loosened this set screw up, and now I have clearance for my wire. So I'm gonna go ahead, shove my little bundle of joy in here. Go ahead and throw a little twist on it. Get all those wires oriented going the same direction. Okay, got myself a little twist. Okay, and then when I'm gonna go on, I can go ahead and twist this in the same direction. Okay, now it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Allen key. I'm gonna tighten down my set screw. Okay, nice and tight, not going anywhere. I can ride my insulator forward. That flathead screw that we had, I'm gonna go ahead and reinsert that. nice and tight now my connection is finished thank you guys for watching this video um, hope to see you guys next time thank you for watching like comment subscribe follow us on instagram at rogue industrial trades